Hi friends, thank you so much for your time. Once again, my name is Darlene C. I'm so excited that you are here on this platform where we try to use calculator to make mathematics easy, especially in examination room. Okay, so how do we use calculator to solve for logarithm? It's quite simple. Here, you don't need any special function. Okay, so the first part, evaluate the following. That is log 27 and root 3 base root 2. Okay, now, going through the calculator, you see that we have two log keys, okay, on it. This one has no base, meaning this is used for working in logarithm with base 10. Then the second one has a base. So working with be, uh, logarithm with a particular base, you use this option. Now, when the base is 10, you pick this. And if you are working with other base other than base 10, then the second key comes in. So the first question, we are to find log 27 root 3, okay, base root 2. Now, this one has a base, and the base is root 2. So we can't use this key because this key gives no room for any base. Now, the right one to use is this. So we use this. You edit the box. So the base here is root 3. Now we put root 3 here. So root 3. Now that we are done with the base, we move up. Okay. So we are still down. So keep pressing this. Now the cursor is up. And the number is 27 root 3. So you enter 27 and then root 3. Once you are satisfied, okay, that the equation given in the question is exactly what you have on the calculator. Simply press the equal sign. So you press it, bam, and you are getting the answer. Very simple and easy to do. Now the second one, okay, second one, we are having another log. And so that is log 6 base 10 plus log 45 base 10 minus log 27 base 10. Now, this one, the base is 10, and it is not logarithmic equation, meaning this is not equation. It is just a straightforward log. So you can decide to either use the log with base 10, or this log that comes with a base. Now, for the purpose of this education, I want to use the log without the base, because the one without the base simply means base 10. So I click, so log, and then I have 6, so 6, and then you close the box, okay, close it, and then plus log 45, so log, so okay, the plus also plus log 45, that is 4, 5, the bracket must be closed, and then minus, then we have log 27, so log 2, 7, then, okay, so that is log, so log 2, 7, that is 27, the bracket should be closed, then you hit the equal sign, bam, you are getting one. So that is so easy. Please note, I use this because the question I am dealing with is not a logarithmic equation, meaning there is no equal sign in it. So it is easy to use this log once the base is 10. Now the, sec the third one, I have to solve this. Once again, this one comes with no equal sign. By looking at it, it is a fraction. So the wise thing to do is to hit the fraction key before you enter your data. Now let me hit the fraction button and I have log 16 times log 27. So let's enter that log 16, that's 1, 6. And then you close the bracket. Then the next one is log 27. So log 2, 7. And you must close the bracket. One, look at this carefully. This log comes with no base, which means this one is in base 10. Okay, now I am done with the top one. So I move the cursor down and I enter the down one. I have log 9. So log 9, bracket must be closed. Then the next one is log 64. So log 64. You close your bracket and then equal sign, bam, that is 1. So that is so, so easy when you are working with logarithm. Now let's come to the logarithmic equation. That is logarithm that has equation. And with this one, I always advise that let's use the log with the base. Okay, you can't use 
this one let's use the log with the base now let's come the question says solve the following equation the first one log bracket x squared plus one bracket close to base 10 now we are dealing with the base so let's use this so you press on this the base is 10 so let's put 10 to the base once we are done with the base you now move it to the cursor up by clicking on the right arrow and then we are going to enter x squared plus one and you know to get x you click on alpha then you click on x the x is squared so let's square the x then plus one so plus one now we have entered we have entered this expression into the calculator you can see that the cursor is within the bracket but we are done with the bracket so we need to move the cursor outside the bracket you do so by pressing this now we have minus 2 log x to be 10 so we have minus and then 2 we have log so log base 10 so the base should be there and then once we are done with the base let's move the cursor up and then we come to this side you need to enter the x so to get the x is alpha and then you press the x so once again we are done with this so we need to move out of the bracket by pressing the right arrow key then it's equal to 1 so it's equal to you press alpha and then this equal sign and that is 1 now once this is quite different from the first one for the first one it is not equation so once you finish entering you just click the equal sign button but with this one it is equation so if you click the equal sign you will get an error so how do we solve it to solve any equation after you have finished entering the data you press shift and then you press solve okay so here your calculator is asking you what value of x do you want to use please notice that at this time always use zero at all times when you get to this point simply use zero so you click on zero and then it's equal to and it will work it out for you bam so if this was to be an objective question you will go through the possible answers and then check which of the answers correspond with this and you are good to go so so easy now the next question we are going to solve log x to be 81 is equal to minus one half so once again you don't need any special function to enter this so enter the equation exactly the way you see it in the question now i go so here i encourage you can't use the log base 10 let's use the log with the at the log with the base and here we go because the base here is 81 so you put 81 here and then you move the cursor up and here we have x to get x is alpha and then you have x then you leave the brackets then we have equal sign once again you press alpha and then this equal sign and then the number we have is minus one half and this is fraction so you enter the minus then you bring the fraction button and then you enter one you go down and then you enter two so once we are done entering our data you cannot press this equal sign no all you need to do is that you press shift you press solve and like i said all times when you get here please use the value zero so here simply click on zero when you are done clicking zero press the equal sign button bam and you are getting the answer so that is so easy but please notice that not every logarithm question can be solved using the calculator okay you can't solve all log questions using calculator sometimes when you key in the data and you click if you can't solve with calculator it will inform you that i can't solve so once you enter any logarithm question on the calculator and then it tells you i can't solve do not force it thank you and if you are yet to subscribe please do so have a good day my name is dalenfi bye bye